Hi there. Today I'm going to do a very quick video about something very practical in Kubernetes. Normally a pod has one container. And uh, most of the times that's okay. You don't need any more than that. But sometimes it might be quite useful to have another container inside your pod. And I'll explain to you why. When you have another container inside your pod, and uh, that container is just helping the other container doing something useful, it's called a sidecar container. So let's start with the practical example. So normally, a pod has one Docker container, and this is our container. So let's take an example uh, of WordPress. It could be a WordPress container, okay? So my pod has a Docker container with WordPress running on it. And WordPress actually has Apache and a bunch of files they need, okay? One of the, the challenges of, of scaling uh, WordPress is actually the fact that it has to share files. So even if I try to scale my website, I still have to share files between all the different containers for that website. And that introduces a challenge, right? The challenge is that you have a bottleneck, right? Because if I have to share files, that means I need to have some kind of shared storage. And the shared storage is going to be a unique point of failure, right? Or it can slow down your, your whole website because typically shared storage is slower. So one of the solutions I came up with, I want to have as many containers as possible. And then every time a new container starts with a copy of my website in WordPress, it will copy all the files it needs from, a, a, in this case, a Google Cloud storage bucket, and it will serve the files for the website, okay? So what I will have here is a, a bucket in a Google Cloud storage, a CCS bucket, okay? And uh, every time this container starts, you will copy all the files. And this is great, okay? This means I can have as many pods as I want. And they will all have a, a copy of the website. Forget about the database for now, that's another problem. You know, I can have like tons, tons of copies and all of them will be independent. They don't actually have, they only have to connect to my Google Cloud Storage bucket at the very beginning. However, how do I implement this, right? The most obvious thing to do is for me to add some kind of script inside the WordPress container that will copy all the files from this Google Cloud Storage bucket into my container at the startup. And you can do that. That means I actually have to modify this container. So I no longer can use like, let's say the standard WordPress container that you can find on, on the Docker Hub. I, I'm basically extending it. And that's fine, you can do that. But then, okay, let's imagine you don't have WordPress only anymore and you come up with another website, um, maybe running on Laravel or something like that. And you want to implement the same kind of behavior. You want to copy the files from DGC, uh, DGCS bucket into your container. When you upload a new image, then you want to make sure that all the copies of WordPress are already running here. They receive a copy of the same image. And how do you do that? So it's no longer as simple as just doing a copy at the startup. You also have to synchronize files while WordPress is already running. But there is a better way. And this is where we come to the sidecar container. It's basically just another container that sits next to your WordPress container and it's inside the same pod. One or more containers that are inside the same pod, they can share two things mainly. Networking, they can communicate within localhost and they can also share files without having to worry about, you know, creating volumes. So the best solution would be to create a container which sits inside the same pod as the WordPress container. And this container is going to implement the behavior to copy the files from this uh, GCS bucket. It can do this at the startup of the pod. So when the pod starts, before it uh, starts tra uh, serving traffic, it will allow this container enough time to basically download all the files from the GCS bucket to make sure it has a copy of all the images for the website. Because the last thing we want to do is to serve a broken version of the website, right? With the mi missing images and things like that. That's not good. 
And the way to also make sure that the, the pod doesn't start serving traffic too early, right? You, you can use, uh, make use of the readiness groups. Uh, in fact, I, I talk about that in a, another video. You might want to check it out, how you can use uh, readiness groups and liveness groups and startup groups to uh, make sure that your pods are ready to receive traffic or when they crash, they get restarted and so on. Anyways, so this container, let's call it file sync container, right? Just to, to be original, right? This file sync container will do the copying of the files into a, a shared folder and sharing is no, it's no problem inside the same pod because it's basically the same file system. You have to declare it in the YAML and then you say, oh, this is my shared folder and I want this shared folder to be available both to my WordPress container and to my file sync container. Okay, so this share folder gets populated with the images that the file sync container downloads from the GCS bucket. But the job is not done yet, right? So while the pod is running, it also needs to periodically check that there are uh, new files. This file sync container can implement also a, a polling mechanism. Every time there is a new file that is uploaded to the bucket, then this file sync container will download the new file. So the new image will be downloaded and the pod will have that image as well. Okay. So you can Im implement this in this container. Okay. Today we have WordPress, but if we have something else tomorrow or we find that this is uh, needed somewhere else, we can just copy, uh, we basically can just reuse this easily. And that's why it's better to implement this functionality separately rather than in the same container. So this is the concept of sidecar container. There is another thing you can do in Kubernetes, which is similar to a sidecar container. In fact, it's called the init container. And the init container is different from a sidecar container because an init container starts before the, the main container, okay? And it has to complete successfully before the main container starts. But if you have a, a task, something that you do one time and you want to do that at the very start of a pod, then you can implement that task inside the init container. And you can make sure that if that task is not successful, the init container will fail and then the pod will not start. Uh, I hope you found uh, this uh, short video useful and that uh, you've learned something new. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like button so I can do more like this. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Happy coding.